to Linda's Pantry. Okay, so today we're doing a one-week checkup on our wine. We're making peach wine. And I went over to the brewery supply house and the guys over there were just absolutely phenomenal. They were so helpful and full of information and so I, I was not quite positive that I was on the right track with the way I was doing this, but they said absolutely um, to ferment the fruit in the bucket first and then to transfer it without the fruit after it's clear um, and we're going to check it today and see what it looks like. I mean it's still really gassy when you, when you stir it, it's bubbly and releasing gases and stuff but he said check and see how clear it is. When you feel like it's clear then you can put it into the carboy with the little burpy thing which I bought a couple of those and then uh, he said you'll know when it's ready uh, I guess the yeast gives up and uh, he said bottle it and use it as soon as possible peach wine I guess doesn't keep more than three or four months so you don't want to age it or anything like that so that being said I learned a bunch and I'm excited to move on with this and I know you guys are all excited I'll try to go over step by step how I did this because I know it was a little bit confusing. My video footage didn't cooperate with me and so I, I think there were some people that missed steps. So truly it was cut up the fruit <laughs> and uh, cook it down, add sugar so the sugar's dissolved and then once it cooled enough add your yeast and warm water, not hot water, but your yeast that you've mixed with warm water to the mixture, stir it up really well, and that's really all the steps were. So anyway, I hope this uh, inspires you to stay along and see how this wine's going. And if you like this, give me a thumbs up somewhere along the line. Go over and visit my Facebook page and like that. And go ahead and visit the other link that I've left in the description box because I have a new venture on the horizon. Actually, it's in full swing right now, but um, I, I don't want you guys to miss out on it. So go hit that wild tree. Uh, link and see what it's all about. Okay guys, let's do it! <laughs> okay guys, it's a wine update. It's been a week and one day since I started this wine and just to make sure that you guys know, you know, this is actually this is one of the best ways to do it according to the brewery that I went to. But it didn't give me any specifics on how I should or how long I should leave it like this. As you can see, it's still bubbly and releasing gas and all that, which is what it's supposed to do. And he said, what, don't transfer it to the carboy until, and I've done this twice a day, every day, and I can kind of already tell it's not ready. Um, he said it's ready when it is clear, the um, liquid is clear and so what I'm going to do right now is take a little into a measuring cup and we'll see and uh, you can see it is not at all clear that is not clear <laughs> so um, we're even close to it it's still really cloudy that means the yeast is still active and doing its thing and we're going to give it some more time so Anyhow, I thought I'd bring you over for a little look-see on the winemaking experiment. It smells kind of like it, you know, it smells a little fermented, but not anything that... I'm excited. I think this is going to be wonderful. And he, he did say you do need to drink the peach wine right away. So, <clears throat> Misty, if you're watching this, how long do you normally... How long does your peach wine normally last? Because... Um, anyway, just curious, he said to maybe next time do apricot and peach together, um, or, uh, and then I want to try a pear and an apple. I got, um, you know, apples are going to be here in season next month, and pears, and so pear and apple wine sounds amazing, and maybe some cranberries in there just to throw in a little kick. I don't know. We'll experiment. So that's my uh, wine experiment going full steam ahead and 
I'll bring you back next week when we're checking on it one more time. And in the meantime, and you can kind of see the fruit has started to, you know, when it, it seems to be a little bit higher prior to today. So, um, but I really, I'm excited to have this project complete and hope it inspires you to maybe try your own wine. I hope it brings you back and I hope you go, go over to my Facebook page, hit the like button and get all the latest and greatest from videos I upload myself all the way to videos I upload or pictures and comments from other people and see what I'm doing and what I'm, you know, who I'm watching. Maybe you'll find somebody new. And then I'm also going to put in the description box with that link to my Facebook page. I'm going to put a link to my Wild Tree page so or my Wild Tree website so you can go over there and shop and browse and see if there's anything you'd like to pick up. And look for my Wild Tree recipes because I'm going to be uploading a few. All right, guys. Hope it brings you back. I'll see you next time. God bless.